Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. I know the lighting's kind of bleh in here. It's gloomy outside and my room doesn't have that great lighting, so bear with me. So, a lot was going on in my life via pregnancy. I'm having a good pregnancy. I've only gained like three pounds, three to six maybe. <laughs> but other than that, me and Noah are great however I was thinking about you know things that led to this pregnancy and you know I hear people oh you know that was fast you and Daniel are you know you and Daniel that was fast that's what I get a lot that was fast and you know before Daniel, I had been dating someone on and off for two years that I met in a bar. And when the last time I spoke to him, I thought it was on New Year's. And I remember thinking the day after, I never really knew him. Like for two years, I let this man sleep with me. I slept with him. I woke up in his bed. And when we were off, I would date other men. And then I would always go back to him. And, you know, he used me. He led me to believe I was the only one, you know. And I thought, I never really knew him. Like, now that I think about it, I never knew him. And maybe, you know, God did these things like show me who he really was and I was wearing my rosy colored glasses and I was just like, you know, no, no, he's handsome, you know? Um, and I ignored him. And, you know, a lot of people say, well, you and Daniel, it was too fast. You know, it was too this. It was too that. And, you know, someone's always going to have an opinion. Always. And it's always the people who are single. It's always the people who are childless. It's always the people who are, you know, just not happy with themselves and can't be happy with other people's decisions and choices. I'm thankful that I did not use Daniel and then end up with him. I'm thankful that I met Daniel at the time I was supposed to meet Daniel and the chemistry was there you know he's my best friend and you know yeah it happened fast I got pregnant fast yes it happened but I'm gonna be very honest with you I had unprotected sex with that one guy before and I never got pregnant Never. And I was not on birth control. So when I think about it, I think, you know what? God prevented me from that situation because I think if I was pregnant with his baby, so and so's baby, I would be a single mom right now. I would be a mom who gets told, fuck you, go fuck off, come back, I love you, fuck off, you know? I would be that baby mama he would not be around in fact he couldn't even be around for anything unless it benefited him so i think about that and i'm like you know what i was chosen noah chose me to be his mom and daniel to be his father like that's insane to me like the fact that I'm going to have baby boy is insane because I thought it was a girl. But the fact that I'm going to raise a man after all my man problems, I'm going to raise him to never do what was done to me. And I now understand why I encountered these men. To raise him to be a man. And, you know, there's some girls who say Daniel's this, that, and this. Daniel used them. Daniel did this. Daniel did that. But that's not the Daniel that's with me. 
I get the real Daniel. He is honest about it. Yeah, I did it. I blah, blah, blah. But when you truly find somebody who's a ride or die down for you, like I did with him, none of these guys matter. No one matters in the past. So for me, time, timing is everything. But just because you know somebody for 10 years doesn't mean you really know them. I mean, I spent 10 years with a man, and the truth is, I didn't. I was sleeping next to him. I was gonna marry him, and I still didn't know him because he was just the bullshitter. And time is jack shit, I'll tell you. Because when you meet somebody who's for you, the world doesn't stop. But the world looks so much prettier because you're with someone who loves you for you and genuinely wants to be with you, who makes it work, who makes sacrifices for you, who goes above and beyond what they've always done for you. So when I tell you that when i get told oh that was fast or people think it was too fast i don't care this is my love story i know people who have been married for years and only known each other one month two months three months four months i know people who had a baby within one month and have been together for years upon years so whether me and Daniel will be those years upon years, I got Noah, and we have Noah at the end of the day. That's a big, huge blessing. Now, does it mean that I don't miss Friday nights out? I do. But now I have a partner to go out with, and then I'm going to have a son to do fun things with. Excuse Chloe. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing to teach him all these things and go to museums and on a Friday night go to movie night you know like I cannot wait to do this with him and do this with my little family at the end of the day I can't and have mommy and daddy time <laughs> say hi Chloe and Chloe time she's still sick and um have mommy and daddy dates you know and I think Daniel for never stopped dating me since I got pregnant never did he put me in a position where he was like I'm gonna stop dating her he still dates me and that's that's something that we probably won't give up because we both want it so I guess what I'm trying to say is if you are in a relationship, then you understand what I feel. But if you're not, I guess the only thing I can say is embrace the journey. I had cried so many nights, and now I know why I cried. To make me a better woman for Daniel. So, I guess I just wanted to get that off my chest a little bit, my thoughts. <laughs> and I hope you guys are doing great. Bye.